Hi there. Welcome to Tuesday Talk. I don't have my Facebook up yet, so I'm going to get that going. And I hope you're doing well this evening. You know, here I am like reaching to do this and never fails that whenever Facebook stops to uh, take a, a thumbnail that, they, that I'm making the worst face. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Tuesday Talk. So let me get us straightened out here. So um, I have a couple little projects tonight, or at least one that I'm going to focus on. And it's this vintage towel rack. I have had it forever, and I always thought it was really pretty, but I think it could use a little something something more. So uh, we're going to add to it by using some molds. And you know, lots of times I have done molds in the past with you, and I've poured them with uh, two-part epoxy, the amazing casting resin, and we've also used uh, mold or modeling uh, material or air dry clay. And tonight we're going to use hot glue. So um, if you've never used one in a mold, um, first of all, I always like to, if, if you've ever noticed, whenever I've been doing molds, when I use uh, two-part epoxy or the amazing casting resin, if I have any left, I usually pour it in another mold. So I had a couple of these little rose buds or roses left. So I'm going to use those on these ends here. So I do have those already so we have to glue those on and then we're gonna have to do something here and I had these too these are like the ends of a garland uh, for a rose garland so I think that'll work up here and then I thought we could do a couple swags so I already poured one with the hot glue and now I'm gonna unmold it and then I'll show you how we pour the other one so look how that comes out now I have little strings here, but if you're afraid of using molds, if you're afraid of the two-part epoxy, don't be, but this is really super easy to do. Whether these are leaves, no, they're not leaves, they're just extra glue. So what's cool about using the glue for molds is that you can immediately put it on furniture and you can like bend it around a curved area. So that's what's cool about it. I've used it for jewelry before. I've used it like on cuffs, like bracelet cuffs, and then you can um, move it around and it's totally paintable. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the screen down and then I'll do another one so you can see how easy it is to do. Okay, so here's our mold. I'll move this out of the way. And just go ahead and whenever you're doing this, it's always good to have a, a high temp glue gun on. Boy, why is this? Don't tell me this is going to fail me now. Okay, there we go. But yeah, you want a high temp glue gun and you want to use these bigger sticks. Otherwise, it really takes forever. So uh, having a good glue gun, I don't use a glue gun a lot, but you know, having a good glue gun is a good idea. I got this one from Michaels, I believe. It's their Art Minds brand. And I like it. I like it because it has this nice little stand on it. So you're just... Um, basically pouring it into the mold. It takes a few minutes and if you've ever seen the uh, glue stick that comes in a circle, it's like a continuous stick. That'd be perfect if you're doing a lot of molds. It does use a, a decent amount of glue.
So for those of you that are local, we did have a soft opening at our store, our new location at 814 Green Avenue on Saturday. And tomorrow is our first, our, our next day open. So I'll be in the shop tomorrow from 10 to 5. Stop on by. I'm going to post on social media tomorrow um, some of the things that we have. There's not a lot of painted furniture yet because of uh, I sold most of it before we moved. And now I'm um, busy painting more. We already got some more in and <laughs> going to work on a few things. Have a vanity coming up. Everybody likes vanities. They're always in demand. Actually have a couple of those coming up. Cute little table. It's another thing that sells well. And I have a beautiful dresser there too. So yeah, so we do have some a little bit of furniture. Not as much as we usually do. Um, but we're working on that. And then I'll show you some of the vendor things that we that we have. So um I'm going to set this aside to dry and we'll go ahead and put on what we already have. Now, I typically don't use hot glue, but I think I'm going to use a combination of a couple different glues. I had some tacky glue here. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So I'm going to use some tacky glue and some hot glue. The tacky glue will hold it in place a little bit longer and the uh, hot glue puts it in place really quickly. So we have a temporary hold and a more permanent hold. Okay, I can see that my nozzle's all clogged up. You know what? It's not a big piece and I can't get that open because my, my hand hurts. So. I'll quit whining, and I'm just going to use the hot glue tonight. How about that? I have seen people do it, so um, it's not like it can't be done. I typically just don't like to use hot glue, but I, I understand, like, if you use, like, a Gorilla glue stick or something, that it's a lot better. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use it and be a rebel. Of course I didn't put paper towels out tonight. So I had a little extra glue come out. So I'm just going to kind of pick that off. Okay, and these are, um, I think these are redesigned with Prima molds. We might do a second project tonight. It all depends on what we get done here. And now I can't find my other rows. My husband's upstairs. And he sounds like he's making all kinds of noise up there. Not sure what he's doing. <laughs> if you come on, say hi. Just trying to pull away that extra glue here. This isn't the uh, probably the best method, but it'll work. Then once we get our molds on, now we can go ahead and paint. So, hmm. I'm missing a rose. Here it is. <laughs> Not for long. Used a little less glue that time spread out so that's good we'll hold it on here a minute i 
Okay. Some of this dried glue off of here. Okay, so this might be a little tricky using hot glue on hot glue, but we're gonna try it. Oh, first I wanna kinda of try this on for size. So yeah, we'll do two swags across here. Maybe I should have done that lower, but I think that'll look okay. I think it'll look okay. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. So like I said, putting hot glue on hot glue is just kind of weird. We'll see how it works out. The reason I don't typically like to use hot glue very often is if you would happen to get the project then once it's completed in the heat in the sun then sometimes that hot glue will melt um, but I don't think we'll need to worry about it with this project because we're going to be painting over the glue or over our molds so I think we'll be okay okay so that's kind of holding on there nicely and We'll check our, well, our mold seems to be ready already, too. And that's one of the nice things about using uh, the hot glue and the molds is they, they just set up really quickly. I'm going to pull this excess away and then show you. Check out the detail in there. Can you guys see that? I know this light is kind of in the way there. Anyway, pretty rose swag. And we'll go ahead and put the glue on here. And I'm running out. And get it affixed to our towel rack. And then we can start painting it. Okay, I have a lot of excess glue there, so I'll give it a second and pull some of it back. I do have a hair dryer here, and that is the best way to get rid of those extra glue strings when you get them. That isn't real hot. I can pull it back real easily. I just want to get the excess off of here. Now another thing that I'm going to do, I realize that um, that the rack here is a little on the wonky side. So I'm going to tomorrow put some wood glue in here and then clamp this together. So it's just a little wobbly over here. So some wood glue at the shop tomorrow and a clamp and that will make this all better. And I think this is going to be a really cute rack. It's not a paper towel rack. Because I think it's like kind of before they made paper towels. It is just a towel rack. So it will be cute in a little vintage bathroom. So let's go ahead and paint this. And I think I can unplug the hot glue gun. So I think we are done with hot glue already. Okay, so the color I'm using is Harvest. No. Harbor <laughs> in silk. Boy, I have this light on here. I think that's hard for you to see. But anyway. Um, I love the silk paint. I just love it. So, we're going to just go ahead and dive into this. And I'll go around all the detail in the molds first. And then I do have some wax for it, too, so we can uh, accentuate all those detail areas. So how would you guys like the beautiful weather we had um, the last couple days? Now today it's back to being a little rainy and chilly, but we're still uh, doing better than we were. As long as it isn't snowing, I'm okay. <laughs> I 
I want to get in these inside areas too. So yeah, I'm really uh, happy to be getting settled in the shop. Um, not quite settled yet, if you stop by. Um, not everything's going to be perfect. But, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I'm just happy that we're moved. And we can, we can work on it. So now I can accept bridal appointments and, of course, sell... Uh, Dixie Belle paint again. So we have some new things that you'll want to check out. We have some new stencils. There's some really cute ones. There's some fairy ones, which will be adorable for some, you know, garden signs or things like that. And um, there's some animal print stencils. There's some like fern ones that are really pretty. And what else did we get? Oh, a new new sa new stains. There's two new no pain gel stains. And there's one new voodoo gel stain. So the voodoo gel stain is called on natural. And I'm trying to think the uh, the one I can't think of the stains American honey I think it's a real pretty color um, I can't think of the other one so I'm gonna do some posting tomorrow so I'll make sure that I post the new um, the new stain names. So you can stop on in and check them out. Okay, I have a couple little strings from the glue gun. So I want to pull those away because that's just looks like hair. <laughs> there we go. So you want to get the brush down in all those little detail areas. But boy, isn't that really pretty? It's hard to believe that that is hot glue on there. I think it looks, it's looking really good. And then once we get wax on there too, that's really gonna bring out that detail. Okay, I just wanna get this little uh, glue glue marks off there because that'll make a little resistance. Um, you know, we have the crackle formula, but did you know that you can sort of do crackle? You may have accidentally done this from one time or another, but glue will make your paint crackle too if you paint over glue. So um, that's something to something to try. You can use, uh, I did it a long time ago, long before I ever got involved with Dixie Belle paints. And I used something called hide glue, which is a very slow drying glue. Now, I've since I've seen people do it with white glue as well. But we also have the same, uh, we have the crackle finish, crackle medium that you can purchase from Dixie Belle as well. I love this color. So pretty. That was like one of the first silk colors that I had to try that was different. <laughs> and since then, there's so many beautiful silk colors. The first collection was all uh, beachy, and uh, like Hampton colors. And then the second collection was all desert-inspired uh, colors, and they're just gorgeous. I love them all. Let 
Okay, this is really looking pretty. I'm really glad that I chose to go with the rose theme. And this little guy isn't really taking that long to paint. I want to make sure I get underneath here where our towel bar is. I can reach it from either side. Oh, if you haven't seen already, on YouTube, our workshop challenge that we did, the Show Me Your Workshop um, that we did with a bunch of other uh, YouTubers. It was awesome. Oh my gosh, I really enjoyed looking at everybody's workshop. And of course, I was very happy that I actually had um, my new workshop to, to show. So, isn't quite done. Because, you know, once I found homes for everything and got the basics put away, then, you know, there were more boxes and more things. So, so we're getting there. But it's, it's a lot. Especially when you're a hoarder like me. Like, for instance, this towel bar. I've had this. I remember having it at the old store in Junietta. So, I've had it at least five, six, or seven years. So... That's how long I procrastinate sometimes <laughs> in doing a project, and maybe some of you can relate, but I'm now really committed to, um, after having moved all my junk, kind of committed to using it up. I have like a, a goal that I really want to, this year, um, get rid of a lot of my stash and just kind of Pare it down a little. I'll still have plenty to do. And I still love to go flea marketing and pick up more things, but um, but for a while, this will keep me busy. Okay, I just want to make sure that I have inside all these areas and around all the edges. This paint's drying pretty quickly. But we'll set it aside a little bit and let it dry, or we can dry it with a hair dryer. Let's see what time it is. Oh, we've only been on 22 minutes. Because I have another little project here. There's something else we can do while we are waiting for paint to dry. I think this is cute. Okay. I'm going to just pick it up. And check around the edges. Yeah, I need to get up here. Still have glue strings. Yeah, it's always good to, you know, look at your, whatever you're painting from different angles so that you don't miss anything. Like, I always like to start little tables and chairs upside down um, so that I get all the areas underneath then flip them and do the rest. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. Let that dry a little bit. A little glue glob there. All right. So what are you working on right now? Love to hear about your projects. All right, going to get that out of the way for a minute. Now, you know, I always tell you that I go on that show around the Alleghenies and I prepare projects. Well, I did these three vases just with spray paint and they weren't quite dry. So I had some drips and I had some areas that um, came off. So we're going to use some transfers tonight as an equalizer. And I'm going to start with the uh, biggest of the vases, this one, because I actually paid good money for this one. I paid, I think, $11 or $13 for that, which, um, you know, I don't typically pay that much for 
stuff like that because I usually find things that are thrifted or um, so again I'm using something up I'm using uh, transfer scraps so this is I believe one from redesign with Prima and I had it open before and there's a great big flower that I want to use on here yeah here it is I'll use all these little ones on the other ones but look at this big flower I love it but YouTube have, have a whole I have the camera down a little lower for YouTube. Anyway, there's the big flower. So I'm going to cut that. And what my goal here is to cover up any of the areas where I didn't have good coverage with the paint. Because, like I said, it was just spray paint. And it was a quick job. And it really wasn't quite dry when I attempted to take it with me. So um, the idea at the time was to show uh, how paint unifies different glassware to look like a set. So I don't know whether you can see this or not, but there's a paint drip here and down here. So <coughs> I'm going to use this big transfer to cover that up. Now we're going to have to cut some of it off because it's going to be too big, but that's okay. We'll do that. Um, I can feel that it's right there, so we're just going to cut across there. And now, do I have anything to rub my transfer on with? One thing I didn't think of. But this is on glass, so usually transfers go pretty easily on glass. So I'm going to find something here. Surely there's something on this table that will work. Um, first of all, I'm just kind of using my fingernails because it really does stick really easily to glass. Pay no attention to my nails. They need done really badly. After a move, I need a little... Um, TLC. <laughs> I do, uh, I would say I clean up nice, but it's, it's time to, time to get my nails done, my hair cut and all that stuff. I just missed a comment. So if you comment again, I'll see it again. I apologize on YouTube there. Comments on YouTube, they show up and then they just kind of disappear. But when you comment again, it'll come back up again. So. <laughs> on Facebook, they stay. Getting some lift off here. Which is good. See, like I said, it does really adhere beautifully to glass. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on the floor. Now I'm gonna go around it with my fingers. And one trick I always do, and I don't have any sandpaper with me, but what I'll do is tomorrow I'll probably go over this with sandpaper. Oh, Heather, working on an old chair you found on the side of the road. You really love it, and it went away again. Um, cool. You'll have to come see me in the new location. And I know you uh, love Dixie Belle paint, too. So I'll be anxious to see your chair. Okay, so this needs some more, but I think that's pretty. So this um, transfer set is like a botanical transfer. This looks like a ranunculus, I think. Um, I love that. So it even has like some words, cruciferae. Now I don't think that's this, but you know what? So what, we'll just put it together. 
Hmm. This is very, uh, very good information. It's talking about bisexual plants. <laughs> Who knew? I just love uh, botanical transfer, stuff like that. That scientific kind of look. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and add this to the mix. Because I have lots of drips on this piece. And if it overlaps, that's okay. Because this is all words and we'll add that on and then we'll add some more flowers on top of it. So when you sand this, you want to use like a really fine grit sandpaper. Um, just, it gets rid of that little halo around there. And it also gives it a really cool distressed look. And I would also recommend, hey Kathleen, got slick stick on a metal dresser. Ooh, that would be cool. Um, yeah, so after you kind of use the light sandpaper on this, uh, then I would seal it and you could either use a brush sealer like one of the Dixie Bell sealers or you could spray it with a Some sort of Finishing spray or sealer Okay, let's see how this is doing I feel like using the other end of the paintbrush, right? Heavy, yes, I guess. I'm sure. I am sure. But I bet it'll be cool. Are you going to go with kind of an industrial look on it since it's metal? See how this is looking? Tissue paper. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, can you guys see that? The words on there? It's kind of uh, dark, you know. It's black print and it's a dark gray. But we'll add some more flowers to it. And it'll be kind of subtle. Yeah, I just didn't want these um, kind of going to waste because, you know, sometimes when you do a project and you start it and it doesn't quite go as planned, it's really easy to just let it sit there and not do anything with it. So that's what I've been doing with these is just kind of letting them sit there. And I really thought, well, the best thing to do is just to kind of get at it and um, put some put some transfers on there. So you can see I have a really bad sticky mess there. I think we, you know, had some paper towels or something stick to it um, when it wasn't quite dry. You can hear my voice echo in there. So we are just going to get rid of this with transfers. I did have some sandpaper and then I took it out at the last minute. So I'm just going to kind of, just kind of picking at it. Because don't forget the transfer is just kind of um, little stars on the tissue paper. That'll be cool. The transfer is kind of going to cover that whole area. So, um, I don't know about this. Let's see. What else do we have? Okay, here's something pretty. We'll put this flower here. I like this one because it has um, not only the botanical names and the 
definitions, but it also has poetry. So it's really a cool one. And I'm just throwing my stuff on the floor just like someone else is going to clean it up. Guess who cleans it up? That'd be me. <laughs> that would be me. Okay, so I think this one's turning out actually kind of cool. I'm going to switch my tools up here and use the side of my scissors. See how that works. So now I have to get back in the groove. Um, for a while, all my stuff, while I was moving, all of my Tuesday Talk stuff was here. And now I have to bring it home from the shop again. So that's why I kind of forgot my transfer tool. It's been such a whirlwind time lately that I actually almost forgot about Tuesday Talk tonight. Because <laughs> I'm so used to being open on Tuesdays, and now I'm not open on Tuesdays. But anyway, I couldn't forget completely because I absolutely love Tuesday Talk. It's my way of relaxing. So you all think I do it to show you stuff? I do it. For me, too. <laughs> okay. I almost threw the scissors on the floor, too. Okay, this is definitely covering up the drips and all that stuff that was there. Um, so, like I said, tomorrow I will go over this with a little bit of sandpaper, and I'll seal it, and who knows what else we might do to it. Maybe to add a little texture to it but I think it's looking cute and I'll keep working because there's two other um two other glass containers this one was like a dollar tree dollar you know it's not a dollar dollar anymore it's a dollar 25 um but you know one of their glass jars or bottles and then this is a Galliano bottle okay so all right Kathleen take care you have a great night too. Thanks. Um, so that Galliano bottle will be cool. So when the three of them have a cohesive look, you know, with, with things on them, then it'll be a cool set. So, all right. So I'm going to set that aside just to give you that idea. And let's take a look at this again. I think we're just about dry, but I am just going to take a second here and lightly use the the dryer here so get a little noise okay um well it helps to plug it in right <laughs> helps to plug it in all right um now what Okay, I'm using the reset button and nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. the heat too much because again remember that's hot glue on there but here's how it's looking this is way an improvement over the way it used to look and now I have some best dang wax in grunge gray oh you know what I did remember I had this transfer tool here the whole time and I was using all that other stuff a brush and scissors silly me okay oh well, that's not the right brush Okay, I have, you know, an old brush here, and <laughs> check this out, but I have used it before for um, waxing, and you know what, I need, hang on guys, I need a, a towel here, so I'll be right back.
Sorry, sorry. Can't uh, can't do waxing without a paper towel, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna go over all this detail. Kind of go in around it. And then we'll wipe it back. Oh yes, that is pretty. Except it took it pulled some of my my paint off and left some white on there. So I may just touch that up a little bit. I still have my blue brush here. So I'll just kind of dry brush that back on, but it still left the dark and the details. I don't think it's going to do that on the glue. That is um that was already done, so I may have the same trouble here with these roses on the ends because they were uh, with the two-part epoxy, um, the amazing casting resin. Sometimes if your paint isn't completely dry, wax will do that. It'll pull off your paint. I'm seeing some spots that I missed. Um, so no big deal. Just here, we'll go ahead and get those out of the way. <laughs> since we're probably going to have the same same thing happen. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. This is really going to be a cute little towel holder for a bathroom, especially if you like the vintage look. look cute in a kitchen as well. Okay, cute. I'm going to go ahead and keep waxing here. I'm going to get all the detail areas, but we're still going to do a little bit more. Um, so we have all this uh, detail along the along those edges as well. I love grunge, grunge gray. Okay. Especially with the blue, it looks really pretty. different than I don't you know like depending on what it is like a lot of times depending on the color I don't like necessarily like to go right with um black wax just if you have a bold color you can I think but with this a nice soft color then I think that you want to go with either a brown or a gray you know a lot depends on the rest of the things that are going on on your furniture piece or whatever it is you're painting. So now I'm just going to kind of go around these details here in the wood. And we'll wipe that back as well. Again, this paint color is called Harbor and it's from the silk line. And you know, sometimes I think it looks cool when you're uh, distressing wood. Remember I said like if you can pull paint off like I did there, um, I'm probably gonna leave that because that looks really cool, like distressed. So, you know, sometimes it's good to procrastinate and uh, kind of glad that I ended up doing this because who knows how I would have finished it otherwise. But I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So it's all done. I'm happy with that one. So that uh, will be for sale in the shop. So let's see what time it is. 45 minutes. 
Um, I think we're going to probably go this evening and cut it a little short because uh, I'm still like, you know, recuperating, I guess you could say, after our move. Let me get my screen put back up again. And this, um, this little girl is not quite as you know nimble as she used to be <laughs> so I've been doing so much moving and everything and it's a rainy day today I'm kind of like feeling just uh want to get the heat pad and just kind of relax a little bit for the rest of the day so um I'm so glad you joined tonight and I'll post a finished picture tomorrow um, and I'll certainly post too when I get the, the bottles done. And I realized, the vases rather, I realized that I didn't uh, post a picture of last week's finished um, result, which was the little mini greenhouse. So I'll be sure to go ahead and post a picture of that as well. So stay tuned for all of that. And uh, like I said, if you haven't checked out the videos from this weekend of the uh, workshop tours, you'll want to check out all those videos because it's really cool how, how everybody organizes their workshop differently and all the different tools and things that they have. So um, check that out and I will talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.